Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Let's play some more F-Zero Maximum Velocity. And here we go. So we are... Uh, oh, yep, that's definitely not the right button. <laughs> I was like, why am I not going anywhere? Yeah, the, uh, the right button to go is definitely A. Which would uh, definitely explain why my car was not going anywhere. So we are in the... Uh, what the hell is this? The Bishop Circuit? We are on the final track. This is what is to be called the ultimate circuit by this game, even though I, I do not find this as the hardest track in this game at this juncture, so... I would say that the uh, the title of ultimate circuit really does not fit, but then again, because it is the last track in the game, so to speak, before you unlock um, the... I think it's the Queen Circuit. I, wonder, I, I don't remember if that's really the name of it or not. But since this would be the theoretical final track in the game, I guess you got it. You pretty much by default have to give that type of name to it. If you just give it an, a regular name, then it's like, oh, so there's not really a theoretical last level then. Because like I, for every last level in the game, I feel like you have to give it some type of, you know, really challenging name or some type of thing that would give it finality of, of some course. I, I, I don't know. But uh, it's it's not very hard though. Like you would think with the final level, kind of like with uh, with what the original F Zero did with Firefield. I mean that that definitely would take the you know that would fit the bill as being a really hard level. I mean after you get used to it a few times, I mean you're like oh yeah yeah this. I mean you kind of you know you get your sea legs for it and then you're like oh this isn't so bad. But for like you know the first the first timer's glance at that level, and you're like, oh, oh shit, come on, my god, I'm like a damn pinball machine out here, bouncing off the walls, and I got the final lap, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be in good shape here, I'm, not, I'm gonna try to not get myself killed, and then uh, we're gonna actually unlock our little, our little first piece of paradise here, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into that, but momentarily, Ooh. There we go. That's that's where I always get myself in trouble is, you know, trying to weave in and out of that stuff to get around that final turn. But then, the level is finished. And the circuit is done. And the damage has been dealt. Can, I find it really weird that in the NBA playoffs this season, or in these in the conference finals, um, the, both the Spurs and the Heat both won Game 1 and 2 in a pretty decisive fashion. And then in game three, the other team blows them out of the water. It's like they're, it's like it's scripted or something. It's just a bunch of lying bullshit. That's what it is. I, I just, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's really, really weird how that happens. Both, both uh, the uh, clearly better teams jump out to a 2-0 start, and then it's like, hmm, I got an idea. How about when the other teams go back home? Then they're gonna blow you guys out of the water. Then we'll, it'll generate some big drama, and then. Me, Mr. David Stern, the Jewish mastermind of the NBA. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and just break in all the cash from the ratings. Woo! Because I'm sure that's exactly how it went. But yeah, I've just, uh, I've been taking it easy tonight. Just, uh, you know, resting up. I, I had one of the more, one of the most uncomfortable, like surreally weird dreams last night. Or actually, it was this morning. It was like one of those dreams that you have in the, like, like. It's, it's a dream that lasts like five minutes or less, but then you wake up and you're just like, oh my god, it was weird. I'll explain it here in a minute because I want to I go through this little, this little bundle of misery here. So, you will notice at this little menu here we have unlocked something called Championship. What Championship is, is they give you one track, and uh, pretty much what happens is... Ooh, I actually have the Championship for this. I did not realize that. I thought I deleted all my all of my uh, all the info for this. So pretty much what happens is they give you. I'll show you. I'll kind of show it to you. So they give you the championship circuit. It's a it's a it's a level that does not exist in the regular part of the circuit game here. But they pretty much they give you a ghost car that exists for it initially, and then pretty much your objective is to beat that car. And so you know, this pretty much is the footage of me. When I when I beat the uh, the rival car, which man, they really did not make it difficult at all. Like, I mean, this is definitely not the cleanest run of this level ever, but uh, I definitely I, I beat the shit out of the uh, out of the initial ghost rival card they had. It was it was just it was cake. So we'll, we'll put it that way. I mean, they don't show the rival card that I was beating here, but uh, yeah. So you kind of get the idea there. So I just wanted to show it to you. I'm actually going to see if I can beat my 
Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to open it back up again. I'm going to see if I can beat my, my time here. I think I might be able to do it. But pretty much what happened in this dream of mine is... I had a dream that I was laying in bed, and like the way that my house is constructed, I'm gonna go back. God damn it, I did it again! <laughs> Fuck. I even made a legitimate effort to try to hit the other button, and I hit both buttons at the same time. You guys are like, hurry up, get on with the tomfoolery already, you Jablonski. Alright. Okay. Back. My Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with the wind walker. We still have not upgraded our vehicles yet, but that will happen soon. So yeah, we'll have the ghost available here. So pretty much, yeah, what happened was I was I dreamt that I was laying in my bed, and my girlfriend came over because she left some stuff over here, and so she came to pick it up before she was going to school. And she was like talking to me while she was in the bathroom, and uh, I was I was trying to uh, I was trying to you know go in the other room and be like, hey hey you know how's it going? And uh, for some reason like I couldn't move my body at all. It was really weird. Uh, I. Yeah, I, I couldn't couldn't move my limbs or anything, and I you know I tried to t I tried was trying to talk to her, but for some reason my mouth wouldn't move. It was really weird. Somehow that was the record lap, even though my ghost is in front of me. However the hell that works. I'm going to catch you. You cannot hide from me. There he is. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, we made this a lot closer all of a sudden. But yeah, so. You know, she kept on talking, but I, I still couldn't move, and I couldn't, I still couldn't answer her. And it was really weird, and so I was like, okay. So, uh... Then, you know, I, I, you know, after she kept on talking, she, and realized that I wasn't answering her, she started getting a little bit pissed. And, uh, I was like, fuck, 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 oh no. It's gonna be very, very difficult to catch up to my ghost now. Um... Even though I know that there is one specific part that I do get myself caught up in a bit of trouble. So she started getting mad, and then I was able to start moving my body, but I could only move in like this insanely slow, like snail's pace type of uh, type of movement. And I still couldn't talk or anything, and like she was still getting really pissed. And I was just like, I was trying so hard to tell her to come into my room so that I could explain to her what's going on, that I can't speak or anything. Actually, you guys will have to wait just a second here. My girlfriend's calling me. Hey, All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was in the middle of a phone call. It was uh, it was pretty important. So, uh, nonetheless, let's get back to this. Oh shit, I did it! I did it again. Yeah, there's definitely. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna beat him, but I definitely had every every opportunity to do it. It definitely just wasn't a very clean run. But I mean, that you got you get the idea though. I mean, that's that's pretty much how this works. So, I mean, that that's that. Man, that sucked. That was not a good run by me. That, that 24 really, really is what got my goat. So we, we, we won't try it again. I mean, you get the, you get the whole point. It, had I, you know, if I needed to beat the, uh, the re existing one to do something, then I would have done it. But nothing big actually happens out of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to uh, the pawn on standard. That's where we're gonna kind of get ourselves started up here. The, the difficulty. For this now definitely significantly increases it's not impossible they definitely left that for expert and even then it's still not impossible but it, it's it's definitely it's it, it's a little more of a challenge you definitely want to make sure that your skills are, are pretty polished up by this point otherwise you are going to be seeing a lot of you know third fourth place uh, finishes but because of the fact that i am a god you don't have to worry about that guy can make a killing out of you sell it vacuum cleaners I don't have to listen to this, I'm a god! So yeah, I mean, it, we're definitely, a, and I, I don't want to, I, I, I kind of feel bad for the fact that you guys are going to have to see this in excruciating monotony for a little while, but, you know, I, I really do want you guys to be able to experience the full, the full thing, you know, seeing the, the changes in difficulty over the, over the changing, uh, over the tracks and everything, so, if you guys do, you know, feel the need to want to skip ahead to different things. I mean, I'm usually able to uh, complete a full circuit in just about one video or so. So, I mean, if you guys want to see what happens at the end of this, you can probably skip ahead maybe a video or two, and you'll definitely see what happens from there. So, But if you do enjoy the experience and hanging around and such, well then, you know, feel free to do that. 
I, I definitely, wow, I can't believe that I made it through that. I thought that hitting that, that vehicle was definitely going to make me careen out of, out of bounds and explode into a flaming pile of shit. Luckily, that was not the case, so we're just going to going to keep on going here. As soon as I get done with this track, then I will definitely call it quits for this episode since we're sitting right around that that uh, that time frame. Definitely not very often are you going to see me getting new lap records since, I mean, for the most part, my my run, uh, my runs of this on uh, the easy difficulty, ah oh, shit, yeah, and for reasons like that, I, uh, probably not, probably not going to see me getting a lot of lap records since I already established some pretty solid ones along the way, but you never know, I mean, I might have the, uh, the random holy shit laps where you're just like, whoa, that was really good. Well, yeah, you know, you know how that goes. Oh, back to my dream. Yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. So, I'm sitting there, um, uh, pretty much, you know, what was what was happening was, uh, well, I picked a really bad spot to do that. Yeah, I was, uh, trying to, trying to talk to my girlfriend, couldn't get out of bed, because for some reason I couldn't move my body, and I couldn't speak, and then I finally was able to get up and move, but it was only, like, in this crazy, super slow-mo action. Shoot! Okay, I almost didn't get that. And then, um, I finally was able to get up, but I could only move in super slow-mo, and she's sitting here starting to get really pissed, because she can't, like, I, she can't hear me, like, I'm able to talk now, but it's this, like, jumbled whisper that it doesn't make any sense, and... You know, I finally, I'm trying to, I'm trying so hard to, like, yell to get her attention and, like, get over to the doorway so she can see what's wrong with me. And, uh, by the time I actually got to the doorway, then she just, like, she slammed the door and said, Ah, oh, shit, I'll just be back later. Fuck. And, uh, then I just, like, sat there. I was just like, whoa. And I, I woke up in a cold sweat and everything. Dude, it was, it was so weird. I've never felt that uncomfortable. Uh, well, I have before, actually. I've had a dream that was definitely weirder than that. But that was definitely top two material for me. It may not sound weird, but it was the kind of thing that you had to experience it, because, like, just the fact that I couldn't move my body or my mouth very well, it was so awkward. But yeah, anywho, so, enough about that. Uh, we have run out of time for this episode, so when we come back next time on Let's Play F-Zero Maximum Velocity, we're going to keep moving through the pawn circuit on standard, and then, uh, well, we'll go from there. So this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.